Hello everyone, this is Rocco coming at you for my first 12.4.3 drive. We are going to repeat the Saluda drive. Uh, so we're going to see if it messes up on that same road, which, um, and potentially take the bridge again. Uh, we're going to disengage this time instead of letting go up that road, if it does. I kind of suspect it will, because this is just a small point release. If it fixes it, that's going to be very speculative what, what, how quickly they're releasing these point releases and what they can fix in between each one. Because 12.4.1 and 12.4.2 both had the same issue where it went down the wrong road based on that data. And what we're going to do after this is the crazy hill test. So if you stick around, we're immediately going to, um, well, we're two separate videos, but we're going to do this. This right here is the crazy hill test. We're going to go back this way and come down down the crazy hill right there so a change already from yesterday is that it's not going 39 mile an hour this time now, I'd already gone out once with that so it's hard hard for me to say see or say if that was just a fluke but no it went up to 45 that's why it went to 39 so that's really interesting why why it did that yeah I hope everyone had a great 4th of July whether you're in the U.S. or not, it's a lot of fireworks, and so I hope, hope everyone had a great time. This scene's a little bit more timid. We are on the average profile. This this route is really just more of like a kind of a backcountry two-lane, like not a lot of traffic. You're going through a small small town. It does have its unique characteristics. But it's not like anything super crazy hard for full self-driving. I know um, I've always complained about speed a little bit. It seems like to me they, they've toned down the speed even again. The 12 that 4 that 3 maybe. Like this scene, like it should be going faster in my opinion. Like this right, uh, this right here fit speed. It seems like it's odd that it waited till here to speed up. Rather than speeding up, going up that curve right there, but hey, it feels comfortable. That's what matters. Ultimately, that is what matters: is that it feels comfortable. No hesitancy at all so far. We do have a blinking yellow in Saluda, so that's one thing that both 12.4.1 and 12.4.2 had an issue with is the blinking yellow. Perhaps they addressed that. Because Chris had the same thing in Dirty Tesla. He had the same problem. So if it goes right through that blinking yellow without any hesitancy, so perhaps that was that would be fixed. It's only preliminary results though, so you can't you can't base it on one drive, but one drive is a good sign. I've I've also had it where it messed up on the first drive, then never again on any prerequisite drive or any other drive after that. Wow, we had a gigantic tree falling down right here or something. We actually have, uh, I wish we had radar in car, um, but we actually have a large thunderstorm coming in. So I don't know if it'll rain before we're done with this route, but it will probably r rain on the Crazy Hill test, I would think, maybe. Which is good, great, because that make, adds an extra challenge to that, to that road. I think it's slowing down here strictly, well, no, I was going to say strictly because of the school zone, but then it speeds back up. Like, this is a great speed in here. Very comfortable around the curves. It does need to react a little bit differently. All this foliage on the right here makes you push out to the left a little bit. So you can tell the car is staying a little bit further left than it would in the winter time. And that's, no, as a human would. As a human, I don't want the foliage to touch my car. And so I want the car to stay a little bit further left. And so that's as a human would do car is doing so it's great now uh, one thing we're looking for is this turn right here we actually do not have the kayak this time so I've taken the kayak off the roof so that is not on the car this time uh, and last time like I said had the kayak but did not have the rope come down the center and I think I 12 that 4 that 1 had the rope come down the center so we're gonna see how that works this Okay, that that's improved. The problem is we can't know if it's uh, if it wasn't caused by the kayak. The kayak does impede the wide view camera. Uh, like it's like kind of a, like a U at the top, 
it doesn't impede the left or right side of it, but it does impede the top portion of the wide view, and perhaps because of that, it, that is what's causing it not to work well. Your guess is as good as mine on that one. But yeah, great stop here. Like, perfect behavior, perfect, yeah. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is see if it doesn't yell at me. Yep, look forward, I am looking forward, okay. Let's see if it, yep, it's gonna wanna go take a right. So glad nav routes quick now. If you guys didn't have to deal with the slow nav routing, be thankful. It was so bad in the past. Like, it literally, I had to stop here for, like, two to five minutes one time. Like, several minutes just to get at the nav. And you saw how quickly that was right there. It did great. Are they about to... About to do something with this road right here? Okay, we are totally clear. My car had to get its nose out in the road. So here's the thing. This gravel road, is it gonna, is it gonna turn right here? Yep. Cars trying to go down the wrong road. The last two versions, 12.4.1 and 12.4.2, both did this. Okay. So, as you can see here, like, no reason it should have gone down that. The path is very clear on that. So, I, I properly annotated it and noted it and everything else, so we'll see what it does. Oh, it should not go. No, do not go. Look at that. Three cars coming from the left. Four cars. Okay, and we are good to go. Great behavior, excellent. Now, too fast, because look at this. We have a 20 mile an hour speed limit sign. Is it slow and... It didn't read the 20. Uh, okay, so it, that was weird. Maybe it was... That still needs improvement, Tesla. It really needs to start reading speed limit signs properly like that and adjusting it. You can't... There's always a police car sitting here. Maybe they're maybe they're on uh, their holiday or vacation right now. This is not a... Um, this is not a place to stop. Or Maybe it thought that guy was crossing the crosswalk or something. I don't know. Coon Dog Day Festival. I didn't realize we had that. Okay. Interesting how it slowed down for that lady and then just kept on going slow. And then it speed back up. It sped back up now and there's a guy behind me, uh, or a car behind me. Okay, we've got our blinking yellow. No one in the way in front of us. There's a guy behind me. In fact is, that seems improved at minimum. Now, maybe it's because there's a car behind me, so he wasn't directly behind me, but he is pretty close. And this seems improved. No, 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 don't, don't, no, no. I'm, I'm, Technically, it's not that doesn't intervene, but it should not speed right there. Like when there's that many people there in their 20 zone, that's just uh, actually I'm gonna I'm gonna report that. That's to me is unacceptable. Uh, especially if that was a school zone, I would have disengaged. If if, if the, today was a school day, I would have disengaged. It's July 5th. It's not a school day, but I absolutely would have disengaged there had we not. So I, obviously it's not gonna be. A, I, I about to have it. I tried to scroll down the speed, but it's like not actually it doesn't do anything so that technically wasn't an intervention as much as I would actually have wanted it to be um, but that's yeah I, I know you guys are like oh it's fine just 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 speed whatever I'm like yeah, not it's a festival there was probably a police car sitting there I'm like don't care I don't care you you guys aren't the ones paying the ticket so that's not that's not uh, not for me but yeah, so besides that one disengagement, which I hopefully they figure out what's going on, I've reported it three, well, at least I've disengaged there three times. Um, this being the third, and this time got really good reporting data, so hopefully that gets uploaded and they're able to look at it. Because 
<laughs> there's no reason, for, based on the map data and based on what I can tell, is that it should be going taking a right. Unless it doesn't realize the railroad tracks there is a road. And maybe it thinks it's a dead end and that, that gravel road to the right is the only possible route. That's the only logical conclusion I can make out of that. But yeah, this, um, this is, as far as I can tell, no different. I um, mean, maybe slight, very tiny difference. I don't know. Well, it, I'll, add it, I'll put it in the um, chapters below the like button if there are any differences that I really noticed. They're so minor that really I just hope this guy, uh, this goes out wide release for you guys. I'm really, really hoping it goes out wide release. But um, if you guys have any questions for me, put comments down below and I will see you on the crazy hill test. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.